Hello everybody, Wizard of Weed here giving you the rundown on phosphorus deficiencies. If you think or suspect you have a phosphorus deficiency, check your air temperature first. Because if your temperatures have been too cold, it can have the same effects on your cannabis plant as a phosphorus deficiency. So check into that at first and make sure that you haven't been too cold. Now as for this cannabis plant, it's been running to the low mid 80s ever since we had it. So we know that extreme cold temperatures do not apply to us. Now moving on a little bit more about the phosphorus. Phosphorus deficiencies are mobile deficiencies, which means they will start with one leaf and then they will move onto the connecting leaves around it instead of attacking the entire plant at one time which you can actually see here the phosphorus uh, deficiency has kind of kept towards the middle and it's kind of working its way outwards now more of the symptoms on the leaves as you can see here uh, the leaves will start turning a dark greenish color and then they'll start getting a dark brown kind of a rust spotting on the leaves so that's the more of the earlier signs and then it'll move on to the yellowing leaves and then the leaves will begin to dry at that point and eventually they will completely wither away die and fall off as you can see here another thing to note as a symptom is the purpling of the leaf stems so another thing to look out for when you're checking for phosphorus deficiencies now if you do not correct your issue phosphorus issue the phosphorus deficiency will continue from leaf to leaf as I said before and eventually all your leaves will turn yellow and begin to fall off so to prevent that problem you need to check double check maybe even triple check your pH to make sure your pH is on point if you are running hydroponics or a soilless medium uh, you're looking at 5.8 for your pH or if you're running soil you're looking at about 6.5 on your pH. Now after you've double checked your pH you can either add a phosphorus supplement or if you're cheap like me I run a general hydroponics three-part so I'm just going to add a little bit more of my flower nutrient which is going to be the bloom. So I'm going to add that little bit of bloom in there and then I'm going to check back in a few days, take off some of these dead leaves, and we should have her looking good. One week later. All right, we're back with the second segment and as you can see, we're looking pretty good. So to go over what we've done in three feedings this last week, on the first day we cut off all the damaged leaves and gave it a feeding. We've upped the flower nutrient in our one gallon feedings by one milliliter. The amount you decide to give it will depend on your feeding schedules and plant sizes. After that, we upped our pH on our soilless medium from 5.73 to 5.85, so that way the roots can take on more phosphorus. Then we continued this process for all three of the feedings, and since things are now back to the norm, I'm going to go ahead and bring that pH back down to 5.8 before a calcium deficiency starts. Don't forget, calcium won't be absorbed much over 5.8, so don't swap one deficiency for another. And that concludes our phosphorus episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments down below. Grow on, everybody.